Hey guys, this is Nick with EDC Mag, and today I want to talk about a knife from Randy Doucette. Before we get into that, I want to throw something else at you guys real quick. As you guys may or may not know, I am an over-caffeinated caffeine junkie. So if you're like me, you're always looking for the next best thing. I am also a coffee nut, black rifle, death wish. All of those are my daily diet. I love them. I just picked this up. I thought I'd share it with you guys real quick. This is the Black Insomnia Coffee Company. It is out of South Africa, but you can get it on Amazon now. Awesome stuff, great taste, dark, and it is 1105 milligrams of caffeine per cup per 12 ounce cup so you know if you drink two on Monday you're pretty much you're pretty good till Thursday <laughs> uh, it's good stuff though really is dehydrate the crap out of you though so drink water all right um, I want to I'm not much of a flashlight guy but I wanted to run this thing by you guys I picked this up a while back and it is a lumen top FW 3a And this little bastard is under 50 bucks and probably the coolest flashlight I've owned to date. It is, again, made by Lumen Top, but it's 2,800 lumens out of one 18650 battery. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details with you on this thing because I am not a battery guy. I mean a battery guy. I am not a flashlight guy. I have a few and they're cool but I've just been so impressed with this and if I really that's my battery dying on this if I really try to get into these guys that know a lot about them are going to uh, tear me a new one what did I do I have killed my battery Wow <laughs> okay part of whoo I blinded myself this is me not knowing how this works because when I buy a, uh, a flashlight you know I buy a cheap piece of crap because I know my wife's gonna get a hold of it and it's gonna end up you know in the basement or outside or you know wherever so I bought like 10 of these for 30 bucks from Amazon like three years ago and they're still and I just scattered them around the house and they're still out there um, here's a cool thing double a cheap one and when you look at flashlights and this is again an 18650 battery which is similar to a double a in size but you're getting 2800 lumens out of this thing it's amazing absolutely amazing and the cool thing about this is it's got a dumb mode for morons like me that that either don't want to or had take the time or just haven't learned how to use it but the the programming you can get in and just it's got like an insane amount of different modes it's a very smart light you can do a ton of stuff with it now I've had some other lumen tops that uh, I've been impressed with that work that I've had for a couple of years and you know those were bought not only because of the lumen but because of uh, you know, I like the way they look. They look nice. Um, they're great for EDC, but I Haven't really gone down the rabbit hole of really getting deeply into flashlights So going into detail on this is just not gonna It's just not gonna do me or you any good, but it's you know, you can go out you can look this up lumen top FW 3a and You know, it's it's uh it's just uh, the coolest damn flashlight you can buy under 50 bucks, period. I mean, with all the, you know, the ramping and the everything that you can do with this, the programming, the interfacing. I mean, it has triple emitters like those freaking eight, $900, you know, fancy ones. Now, this one is aluminum. They come in a few different colors now of aluminum. And they have one in titanium, which I'm seriously considering because I just like the way they look. Um, but man, you know what? I, I bought 
I tried to buy get go down that rabbit hole once and I did a drop with uh, I can't remember some handmade custom company barrel or somebody um, they did a drop and of course I pussyfooted around and didn't get the one I wanted so I said screw it I went and bought another knife but these things um, so I, I'm just not I'm just not into it it's got the tail switch they, they step up very slowly. I've obviously punched something wrong on this. I'll, I'll just have to take some time, but man, these things are bright. And it, it they step up slow if you know how to use them. They have a bunch of different modes. Very cool. Now this one, I this was from CKF, and it was about 400 bucks. And it's a uh, thousand lumen. And it's cool. It does what it's supposed to. It has like three modes bright medium and low um, it's neat but you know for 400 bucks it just looks cool as hell and and I, I like it and I like to carry it but man this thing this thing just blows it out of the water from a performance standpoint so there you go if you want to consider flashlights get into flashlights see what these guys that are spending insane amounts of money are doing and, and what they're playing with get one of these because they're just super cool now most of these come from overseas distributors this one however i spent i think they're like 45 47 bucks this one was like 50 i bought it on amazon i got it in three days for an extra three bucks hey it was worth it man totally worth it so i may end up with the time titanium version of this they're starting to come out with some different things you can use to modify them and make them look you know cooler make them customize them like they do with everything in the world but man this thing is impressive so if you want to see what the big guys are, are playing with and understand that world and do it without having to spend five seven nine twelve hundred dollars this is your dude right here super cool all right let's talk about randy now, Randy's been around for probably at least 10 years. He's a Canadian maker. Uh, he's He does larger tactical knives. Great guy. He's on. He's been around. He's a well-known name. And I personally have a deep love for his knives and his designs. This particular knife is a three and a half inch blade. It's three and a half inch cutting edge. Back to here, it's about, well, supposedly it's three and a half, three, seven, five, four, depending on how you measure it. But this thing is just, it's art. This is just an art piece. It's functional art. But man, this thing is stunning is just an amazing piece of machinery it is a liner lock it has ti bolsters on both sides with a blue twill check that out carbon fiber scale and backspacer Timascus clip and it's a big clip and it's just done so well it's just stunning it has jeweled liners I'm not sure how well this will pick up but I don't know if you can see in there let me try something well maybe maybe not anyway every single piece of this knife has been thought out and planned and well done his knives are just amazing it's a compound ground blade it's on bearings the action this is actually my second do set and man I just love these so much I love the design. I don't. There's something about this shape right here on his knives and just the way they set. I just love that, and it just begs for your hand to grab it. 
It just fits your hand so well, the way his designs. And, and there are a lot of straight lines in these knives and his knives. Now he does make some recurves, which actually I am after my, ideally from, from Randy, I would like to get a recurved serpent that's about four inches long. But when I had the chance to grab this, I couldn't say no, just because I've had his knives before and they are just a thing of beauty. Just stunning. Stunning, beautiful, well-functional knives, and you know you're you're getting to the borderline. Well, no, well, I wouldn't say getting to the borderline. That's not the right thing to say. This this is you know this is functional art. These things are just stunning. And the way he, if you'll notice, on these edges, uh, instead of being rounded, you can tell in the light how they're machined. There's no sharp edges. Nothing has been un, you know, left. Everything is finished. Just flawless. The other thing, one of the other things that I love about his knives is this little tail whip back here. When that, when you grab that in your hand, it's wrapping around the back of your hand. So you've got this choil up here. You've got a little choil back here, and. Man, that thing is in your hand and it is not going anywhere. Now, I personally need a little bit more blade than what this offers, but my goodness. I mean, when I close my eyes and I think of the perfect knife, that's it right there. At least from an aesthetic standpoint. Just absolutely stunning. Stunning, beautiful knives. Smooth like crazy. No stick, no resistance just you know this isn't necessary I mean you could actually his knives you know it totally depends on how he finishes these and he goes pretty exquisite with some of his finishes this one is a little bit tame for him so it's you know setting it around the grand mark but you know he he goes pretty wild with some of the finishes and he's got a ton of different designs out there he's got some great Warren cliffs and some recurves and some, you know, compound grinds. And if you've never heard of Randy Doucette, then you need to go look him up now because he makes some silly, crazy, nice knives. I mean, just absolutely stunning. If I had to pick one maker and that was all I could ever have, which I hate those questions. I see them all the time. Well, you only pick one knife. Oh, shut up. I ain't picking one knife. That's not what this is about. But if I could only be stuck with one and it was a Doucette, I wouldn't be sad about that because his knives are just gorgeous and they're amazing and aesthetically pleasing and they feel as good as they look in hand. And for some reason to me, this kind of brings back some thoughts of, of when I was younger and, and looking at knives in the back of magazines and uh, some of these shapes, you know, I don't know, it just, it, it triggers something in my head when, when I was looking at those and thinking, man, that just looks like something that you could really hurt someone with. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well, let's see what this thing weighs. talking about a three and a half inch blade just a little over seven ounces which to me seems about right if you're looking at the measurement on this you're about three and a half right back to the cutting edge Maybe technically this would be considered a 3.75 inch blade. Everything that he does is by hand. There's no CNC machines. It's all done in his shop by him by hand. 
and it's just phenomenal just a phenomenal phenomenal knife the jimping on this is not it's not really that effective I mean it looks good but I think it's more for looks than effectiveness just because of the way it's made The other thing I was playing with is, uh, not, not that you ever would, but he's got this little lip here, um, which allows you to front flip it, sort of. That could probably be done a lot more effectively if I practiced with it, but I just kind of noticed that and started messing with it right before I started the video. For you lanyard guys, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> no lanyard on this. It is perfectly fine for me. I'm not a lanyard guy. So. And then one thing I wanted to talk about. The guy I bought this from, he, he was kind of a squirrely guy. And I asked him specifically certain questions about the condition of the knife, which he just blatantly flat out lied about. And at the time he was trying, he had it on EDC bid, but he had it for sale somewhere else. He was trying like hell to get me to send him friends and family and I'm like dude I'll uh, uh, you know I asked him specific questions and he sent me photos as a reply and an answer uh, specifically not showing what I was asking about but kind of showing because this thing has and a few little there you can see on one side on this edge you can see it's got a few little scratches on it and you're like well, it's a knife. I suppose I shut up. It's my knife. I didn't want scratches on it. And if I did, I want to be able to put them on there myself. So if I would have asked him and he would have been honest with me, I would have bought the knife anyway. But he wasn't honest with me. And I, I, he was like, oh, friends and family. I'm like, well, why don't we just go through EDC bit? Because even though EDC bit is new, I figured I'd be protected there. He was like, no, no, that cost me. And I was like, you know what? Forget it, man. You're squirrely and I don't want to deal with you. Well, finally he came back and he was like, all right, you can do, you know, you can do goods and services. I talked to another guy in the meantime that had bought something from him. And he was like, yeah, he sent it. He does send stuff, but he said he's squirrely as hell. And my gut was like, uh, I don't know what to do here, but man, I really wanted to get a hold of this knife. And so I finally bought it from him. And, uh, you know, when I saw the scratches, it irritated me, but I wanted the knife. But now I know why he wanted me to do friends and family, not goods and services. I could have thrown a fit and demanded my money back and went through PayPal to get it. But I guess the moral of this story is, you guys, protect yourself when you're out there buying knives. And no matter what somebody's doing, if they're, I mean, it looks the same on their end. You know, they get the same amount of money. Costs you a little bit of extra, but it's peace of mind. So if you're out there and somebody's giving you a hard time and giving you shit about using friends and family, walk away. I didn't. I got lucky somewhat. I mean, I still have a couple of little minor scratches. They don't really even necessarily show up in photos. They only show up in certain, you know, shades of light. But it was still dumb of me to do I don't regret it because I really wanted this knife and it's just a gorgeous knife but I'll never buy anything from that dude again he's squirrely as hell and I won't ever recommend him I hope the hell he doesn't use me as a reference because I will be honest but protect yourself be smart however you do it just make sure that you can recover from it because there's a lot of shysters you know, there are a lot of guys out there that are looking to screw people, and we've got places and websites, and or not websites, but groups. Um, just look, you know, we're all knife guys looking out for each other, trying to protect ourselves and everyone else against these type of guys. So if you're new to the hobby, most knife guys are going to be just absolutely phenomenal guys. You're going to have a lot in common. They're going to be good people. But no matter what kind of group there that you're in, no matter what kind of widget you're you're collecting, there's always going to be some screwballs out there that are trying to take advantage of people. So just you know, cover yourself, keep your ass covered. All right, guys. Uh, so Randy Doucette, 
He is on Instagram. He's got a group on Facebook. I want to. I'm trying to think. Uh, Steel Addiction, I think, is his biggest dealer, uh, where he sends a lot of his knives. So, if, you know, there. It's Randy. He's making these one at a time out of his shop, and so there. You know, there's not a, th- a hundred of them dropped all at once. Steel Addiction, I think, is there's several dealers. You can go to Randy's website, randyduset.com, and 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 see his list of dealers but i'm pretty sure steel addiction is their biggest one these things man they just don't come out uh, come up they don't come around very often because i'm always looking and i've been looking for a couple of years and you know the one i really want i've maybe seen one or two of and i was too damn late to 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 capitalize on the opportunity but these things are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous randy's an awesome maker man i i don't know apparently i have an affinity for these canadian makers they make some just amazing stuff but there you go guys randy set serpent beautiful stunning knife so check out the lumen top fw3a if you want to dip your little toe into the world of crazy ass flashlights, torches, before you have to go out and spend as much as you do on a custom knife. And Randy Doucette, look him up, check him out. This is one of the most beautiful knives I've held in a very long time. His designs are fantastic. He's got a lot of different designs and models and shapes and his grinds are absolutely ridiculous. There's just nothing you can dislike about this knife. This isn't, I mean, I would never take this out and put it in the shit. I would maybe carry this occasionally just so I could show it to people. (laughs) But man, you want a knife that makes you smile? You want a knife that, that you can just take out of your pocket and flip and gives you a good warm feeling? Randy Doucette, he'll do that for you. That's just stunning. Just aesthetically perfect. Just gorgeous. Well, hey guys, this is Nick with EDC Mag. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got a lot more stuff coming up. Having a lot of fun. So please keep tuning in. And until next time, have a great day.